ओके गो नमो मित्रा गाय नमो 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 लोए सब साहुनम नमो लोए सब साहुनम ऐसो पंच नमोकारो ऐसो पंच नमोकारो सव पाव पणासनो सव पाव पणासनो मंगलानम च सवे सिम जय सचिदानंद जय सचिदानंद Hey, Sachidanan. Hey, Sachidanan. Everybody, how is everybody hey, today? Good. Good. Who's not good today? Aryan, you are good today. You gonna give your thumbs up or thumbs down, Aryan? Okay. Hey, Rinam and Hetsy, if you want to join, please unmute. Ah, uh, uh, join. No. Keep your video on, okay? Um, I'm in the car. That's okay. We can see you in the car. You're not driving, right? Okay. <laughs> no, no. Well, as long as you're not driving, you can be on. Okay. Thank you. Tina Nidhi, Jai Satchidan. Jai Satchidan. Are we awake or half sleepy? We're ready. All right. Fifty fifty. Tina looks sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will start. Okay, anybody remember the homework? Five positive Can words. I? Yes, five positive words. Who has yes, five, five positive words? Who has five positive words? Can okay. I add up? Yeah, bolo. Happy. My goal: be smiling, not hurting ego, praying to God. Very good. Is it the same one you said last time, or you added more? No, last time I have not attended. No, okay. I have attended last time, but before that I have not attended, so I don't know the work and I write it to not yes, uh, last at last call. Okay. Anybody else? I mean, nobody's doing homework. Rina and uh, Charvi, no homework. Can I? Yes. So for your positive words, absolutely calm, fabulous, masterful, and successful. Very good. Okay, Kirtan, not Kirtan, Kush. Hopeful, happy. Thankful, good job, and kind. Okay, good. Anybody else? While they're talking, can anybody I? can think. Who? Can I say? Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Loving, joyful, caring, merry, and happy. Very good. Okay, Rinam. Um, can I say? Okay, Charvi. Uh, belligerent, clumsy, confused, depressed, ignore, feign, I mean, five positive, positive, marvelous, charming, classic, courageous, generous, great. Very good. Who else? Nidhi, Tina. 
Any good words? Um, you, any positive words you speak at home? Yeah. Oh, this idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good job. Congratulations. Um, happy. Um, everybody, everybody says happy. Where, where do you use that word in the house? Um, Just don't use say, say for the sake of saying. You have to use this word. So, you know, everybody says happy. Have, have you told your mom that hey, your mom, how are you happy? That I am happy. That mom. Let me that, that. that looks. I, yeah, I want to suggest one thing. Yeah. Next time onwards, let them write down where exactly they used it. How did they use it? I was going to come to that for you. So now it is obvious. So like if they are, they are really used it, then they will be able to narrate the instant, the situation where they really used it. Yes. So... It will, it will become more practical, that's not the sake of it. Yeah. Like, have any of you told, hey, mom, dad, dad looks happy today? Nobody. That we need to be practicing, but also what Devakaran said, I Can want you to repeat break. what you said? Can you repeat? Yeah. Can you hear me properly? Okay, I have to just No, there is lot of net issue. No, there is lot of net issue today. Oh. I have to connection speak. is bad. The yeah. connection is bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. With the what? phone phone system, it can have problem like that. Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh what we are saying, you say happy. Everybody said happy, right? Where did you use that word in the family? Or in with your friends or in school, you know? So don't say what we want to use words which we use every, in our life. So what I saying, have anybody said, hey, mom, today dad looks happy. Or my sister looks happy, something like that, okay? So what Deepakai said, we should document it. So let us write in our group, each one should write at least three sentences where you're using words, this word and where you are using. Okay? It will really help you leave those principles, how we are really performing during the week. And when you, the whole idea is, see, when you walk, when you move around, you are watchful, you are vigilant where you are going, what you are doing. In the same way, we are not aware of what we are talking, what we are speaking. And in, in that conversation itself, we many a time use negative words. So negative words definitely have negative effect on us. And whosoever we are talking with, they would also have the same negative effect. So we want to be aware and vigilant about that. That's the idea. And you try, it doesn't matter, not the five words. You can even come out with one, but that should be your interaction. That will be very effective. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So hey, what, Ram, Ram, where are you from? I already said to the um, other at the photo, like next to, like uh, I already said it to um, him. No, no, but where are you from? Edmonton. I, I'm from Canada, Brampton, Ontario. Okay, okay. Yeah. What do you want the Brampton? Yeah. What's the name of the city? Um, like so it is Brampton. Brampton, B R A M H T O N. Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, thank you. I thought there was were from Edmonton. No. No, he said Brampton. No, no, I know it. Somewhere near Edmonton, right? He, isn't he the son of uh, Vibhuti? No, 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 no. No? <laughs> it's, oh. it's very small. <laughs> so, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, so what is the homework? 
write down three sentences that have a positive word in it that you said during the day. Yeah. So put the word first, and then the sentence where and with whom you use, and where the homework has to be posted. In the group. Uh, that, will, that will be very good and very effective also. Yeah. It will be useful for all. Okay. And those who don't do the homework, what, what punishment we should give? Uh, there's no punishment over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. That punishment a, itself that they are lagging. This that is itself a, is their punishment. This is a forum. So we yeah. are yeah, learning. So then the punishment will be 10 words. So if you do not come with three, then it will be 10 words and we'll ask your parents to follow you around the whole week till you finish those. How do we like that, huh? Then it'll be done very quick. Oh, no, Ram is telling no. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want his parents following him. Well, then you, do, then you have to use the three words. But he, for, for the older one, if we call their parents, I think it will be done in five minutes because they don't want nagging from their parents. Right? And they are okay. old enough now. One or two years they're going to college. I know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, other, uh, what was the other homework? What are the mistakes we made? Anybody made any mistake this week? Anybody made any mistake or everything was hunky dory? No mistakes. No uh, parents after you to do this or that. No mistakes? Did you complain? Anybody complain about food? No? Everybody ate what? Herschel say something. Okay, Herschel, go ahead. And food mute. complaints, food complaints. Okay, what were the complaints? Like, uh, like I don't eat more spicy, but uh, one day, like mom made too spicy food. So I just told like, why are we making so spicy? You need to recheck, like you need to see videos, like how to prepare this and that. And then like, I shouted a little. Then I uh, like prayed to the other and recited first code of conduct also. No, but just imagine, let us try to understand. This is a very good point. Hey, welcome. I'll Akshay, anyway, you'll come. Good to see you after a long time. I told you. Uh, I, I, told, I see, told you lost Arshan. him. No, no, no. He can't lose him. It's not possible. See, we lost Arshan. him in LA. He got lost in LA. Yes, yes. Let, let us try to understand this. Sometimes uh, the food has little more salt. Sometimes it is like spicy. Sometimes it is less salt. So why such a thing happens? There should be some reason for anything to happen. So just imagine that uh, when you don't eat uh, bitter stuff, uh, like uh, karela, like methi, yes, yes. something like that. I'm just giving a very vague, I mean, inter I mean idea. That means your body is falling short of that bitterness because body needs all the six states in balance. Then naturally, it will come to you. But still, if you don't take, then you will fall sick and doctor will give you in, in a capsule. And then you will have to take compulsory. So whenever things come, you just understand, you can tell that very nicely that it is a bit spicy, you can make it uh, lighter, something like that, less spicy. But inside, what should be your understanding? So with that inner understanding, what Dada has given, you will remain cool. You will remain balanced. No agitation inside. No disturbance inside. And outside, you, you can convey dramatically that, okay, this is the thing, if you can make little, I mean, less spicy, it will be better. But inside, what is that understanding? See, whatever your body needs, it comes to you naturally. 
So certain times, you know, uh, there are people who have low blood pressure. Then they are supposed to eat more salt. There are people who have high blood pressure like me. Then I have to eat less salt. So when I go to eat and sometimes the salt is more, then I understand that maybe I, the body needs it. But that time I will take that stuff less. So I don't burden my body. So outside adjustment with inner understanding will keep you balanced inside and outside also. Did you all understand? Yes. yes. And I, I'm very happy at this age if you have this kind of understanding what Dada Bhagwan has given. It will do wonders when you grow old because this thing will get enforced so nicely in you. It will be great. Thank you. Okay, Ranjana, go ahead. What other one, Harsha? That's a good one. This is good, uh, you know, the discussion going on. Yeah. What's the other one mistake I made? Harsha? Like more, majorly I made four mistakes only, not much. Okay, okay. How about somebody Food else? mistakes. Okay. Nidhi, what mistake did you make this week? Um, complaining about getting too much homework from school. Okay, so Deepaka, what can that be done? What, I'm, I'm what, now. What, can, what, what will you call as too much of homework? How much is too much for you? And why do you say that it was too much? I mean, I'm just, I'm trying to analyze Let the situation. Let's talk, yeah, it's nice to, you know, this is, remember, we are thinking, we are not getting any, anybody's uh, stuff, okay, but this And this must be, I believe, this must be online homework, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, in how many hours could you finish that homework? Or you couldn't finish at all? Yeah, I mean, it usually takes all day because the teacher gives like a reading paragraph and then practice and then a quiz. And then there's more to it, but. Yeah, but what I'm saying, how many hours did it take for which you, uh, I mean, you judge that as too much? By what, do you mean one class or like all no, my I'm, classes? I'm talking about all your homework, like, like what I give, I give okay. an example that today I had a, I had an online class and the kind of homework I was given, it took almost my whole day finishing that homework. So I consider that as too much. So yeah. that's how I'm asking how, how long did it take to finish that homework? It must have taken a long time for, I mean, due to it, you couldn't do many other things which you wanted to do. And that's how you consider that as long, too much. So what? Yeah, it took all day. Seven, all day. Seven. Now, then now another thing. Okay, come, 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 come. What is it? She said, she said she, uh, it takes her seven days. Not seven days, like I seven, mean seven eight, hours. On seven to eight hours to finish. Seven this. to eight hours. Now, now okay. Just imagine, when you go to school, how many hours you are at school? Seven. Seven hours you are at school. Mm -hmm. And how many hours do you get at home? Free, free time. I mean, free time means the rest of the time. How many hours do you have? Seven hours you are at school. How many hours do you have at home? Like so of, of, of like 12 hours. And I believe that you have 12 hours a day. Is that okay? Or you have 14 hours a day? No, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to ask you, how many hours do you have at, in hand? Of those seven hours go to school. Did you understand? Yeah. So I'm saying, let us say you have 12 hours at home. Of those 12 hours, seven hours go to your school. You are left with five hours, right? 
-hmm. And in in that five hours, what do you do? In in your school, while in that seven hours, how much homework do they give you? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just trying to analyze. Then when you analyze, you understand the situation and you get the solution also. So it's like, okay, how many hours is your online class? How much, how long does it last? It's at your own pace. Huh? It's at your own pace. So you can start and end whenever you want. Okay, but how long does it last? Mm -hmm. Until midnight. Like you have four hours, eight hours. How long does it last? Like twelve hours. How many hours? Two hours. Twelve hours, because you have until midnight to finish everything. You said two hours. No, twelve. Twelve. Your online class lasts for twelve hours. Yeah, because we have until midnight to submit everything from today. No, I'm, I'm not saying that way. What I'm saying, how, how long do you have to attend online class? No, no online class. It's on yeah, self-paced. Self-paced. Huh? So it's recorded. It, it is recorded. You have to go and listen to the video and complete assignments. It's a right. pre-recorded. Right. But that, how long is that? Okay. Okay. One session okay. cannot be 12 hours. It is uh, there for 12 hours. You can go anytime and listen to that. That takes like 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. So every day you have to spend like an hour online, right? Is that mm -hmm. so? Yeah. And in that one hour class, they give you homework that lasts how much? Seven hours? <laughs> Do you understand? Just imagine, I'm just trying yeah. to understand that if a class goes on for an hour, what is the amount of homework they can give you? For which you have to say too much of homework? One hour, two hour, three hour homework? I believe maybe if it is five times, then you have five hours. And with the online time, one hour, you have six hours. Your school would go for seven hours. So you are still within the time. So how can you say that it is too much? I, I'm, not, I'm not blaming you. I'm trying to analyze it for you because mentally you must be free. For which you are saying it is too much, it is not too much. It is in fact less than your school time. And while you are at school for seven hours, they still give you homework. So of those five hours which is left, you have to do that homework for the day. Is that so? Yeah. So you'll be, you'll feel happy that way this is nothing. Okay. In our life, situations will come like this. But with right understanding and approach, you have to make it easy. Even if it is too much, you have to make it easy with right understanding. Now it is not too much and it is becoming burdensome. Do you understand? Yeah. That is what we have to understand. Okay, go ahead. Did you all understand? Yes. 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 This is where we have to use Dada's life science to understand and view things in its right perspective which will always make you and keep you happy and energetic and ready for anything don't you want to become like that yes we all want to become like that after accomplishing all your commitment still you will have a lot of time to enjoy okay running go ahead okay let's see Let's see. Okay. Anybody else want to talk about their mistake? What? what? 
Uh, what mistake did you make last week? Last this week. Last week, I once I accidentally got angry at Kashali. Is what? She got angry at Kushali. Oh, why would you do that? To the sweet. No, Kushali. she was watching too much TV and she wasn't letting me watch. <laughs> Right. Okay, Dipaganji, talk about that. Hey, Kushali. She wants to say something. Did, 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 she, did, did she tell you, did she say the right thing? You didn't allow her to watch TV? Yes. Hello. 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 I am not able to hear. You're breaking up. You didn't say anything. Kushali, didn't you allow HC to watch television? Kushali is asking, would you allow me to watch TV? Sometimes. Sometimes. So uh, I, I was told, HC said that Kushali is a very nice girl. Then what happened to you? She said sometimes. Sometimes, so she uh, HC, you sometimes you have to allow her. Hmm? Is it is sometimes you should allow her? Is that okay? Hmm? Sometimes. No, she says sometimes she lets me watch TV. Sometimes only, but all the rest, all of the time, in all the time she watches TV. Is that so? I can't hear you. You're breaking up. Oh. Most of the time, does she watch mm -hmm. TV and allow, doesn't allow you to watch TV? Yeah. Hey. And once not... I got angry at her and shouted at her for that. So, so fine. Uh, that, that's fine. That's not called you, you didn't get mad. But she, hey, Kushali, you are very mean. That's no good. That's what Akshay Kushali, Kushali, Kushali Dada wants to tell you something. <laughs> Kushali, I believe you are not mean. I, I know Mr. Sister, I believe you are not letting your sister watch TV. Your, your dad and mom said that <laughs> Kushali is I very I said nice. sometimes I let her. But that's what? That, that's not right. Okay. Then the man. Okay, go okay. ahead. How about it? That's me. You didn't make a mistake? Yeah, last week I wanted to eat chocolate cake and then mama made chocolate cake but it didn't turn out nice so I got kind of mad at her for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, did, it didn't turn out well? Yeah, it, it was actually a bit less sweet. Like it was not like normal chocolate cake. It was like a diet chocolate cake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, again, again, again. It's a wonderful thing. So... You know, when your body needs certain things, then the nature provides it. Yeah. But we, we follow our taste. And when it doesn't go as per our taste, then we complain that it was not nice, it was not suitable and all that stuff. But in such situation, did your mama want it to make like that? No. But it happened. Yeah. But you always claim and blame your mom that you did it like that. <laughs> that was not nice. Mm -hmm. So in this situation, you have to be on your mama's side and tell her, never mind, mom. Sometimes it happened. Maybe I had to eat diet chocolate today. So she, she, when she couldn't make as per your taste, she already knows, she already feels bad that oh, she couldn't make uh, well for you. But in that situation, when you are on her side, then she feels so nice. At least she will not feel hurt. She will think that, oh, if she has really become big, she is able to understand things better. Isn't that important? Yes. Yeah, so we are learning. So we are bound to make mistakes. But out of that mistake, we must come out with right understanding. That is very important. Okay. 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 True. Very good. Very good. Okay. Dipakash, this is very good, you know, discussion. So, Dipakash, 
how you relate to this with our first code of conduct? See, when you blame your mom that you didn't make as per my taste, so won't her ego get hurt? Yes. Definitely gets hurt. And we, we, we recite the first code of conduct that I must not think, I must not speak, I must not behave in such a way that someone's ego get hurt. But I am hurting someone's ego. So never mind. After all, we are all are learning. We have not become expert. But in the process, we must understand that, hey, this was my mistake. This is where I went wrong and I must correct myself. That correction is important. Mistakes happen. Mistakes are not committed by you. They just happen. But when you correct them, that is where you're going in the right direction. And eventually a time will come when no mistakes are committed. That's how you perfect the first code of fun. And then the rest of them also. Okay. Great. Very good. Yeah, so this is this is how we want to become par excellence as we go along. Exactly. We are mindful and then start correcting our mistakes. Then you become a uh, par excellent like whom? Who is the par excellent person? Allah Bhagavan. Okay. Everybody okay? Yes. 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 What, what mistake did you make? Yashwi? Yeah. Uh, I was... I, I think recently I've been complaining about how coronavirus ruined like so much for us. So like it ruined how we can't go out anymore. We can't eat outside food anymore. We can't like have a good senior year because we're like we're graduating next year. So it's like they even ruined our senior year of going to school and enjoying it and just stuff like that. So I complained about coronavirus. Well, whom did you complain to? Oh, no one, to myself. I, I, mean, you were, I mean, you you were not very happy and you complained at the situation. Yeah, and like I was telling my friends and family that I was like, I don't like how coronavirus ruined so much for everyone. Correct. Let us understand. You know, uh, Mr. Ratan Tata, he is the automobile guy in India who uh, builds cars. And they have taken some of the uh, imported cars also. They have bought the company. I don't know the name of the company, but they have bought some of the international company. Jaguar, Jaguar. Jaguar. So, Jaguar, you know, UK. Yeah. What he said, you know, Ratan Tata, the CEO, I believe CEO, the owner of Tata Automobile, he said that looking at the prevailing situation of the world because of the coronavirus, COVID-19, he said it will be wisdom on every one of us to remain at home, don't go out, don't look at your profit and loss, but if you survive these two years, consider yourself very lucky and fortunate. Did you understand? Yes, it's obvious you don't like, nobody likes to say, you know, I'm in this room from last four and a half, five months, five and a half months now. I left the temple complex only one to have a haircut. Yes, but then I remain all the busy, so I don't know what's happening outside. But it is for our safety that we don't go out. And, and you know, these are situations, natural situations, although uh, initiated or brought by humans, but human also part of the nature. Are they not part of the nature? Yes, we? Humans are also part of the nature. But when, when the brains work negatively, that's how they create disturbance in the nature. And then the whole world has to suffer. But 
where does the wisdom lie? Where is the right understanding? The right understanding lies in the fact that you better stay at home. Yes, you feel frustrated. You feel disappointed. Staying home all day, no eating outside and all this. That's agreed. We're not saying no. But behind that, have that understanding that we must keep ourselves safe so that we surpass these difficult times, maybe one, one and a half year or two year, whatever time it takes. But then you will be able to enjoy. But if you go out and you catch that, then you will get into unnecessary trouble. And you know, one thing very important to understand, if someone gets affected by COVID, then your lungs are permanently damaged. If it is 20% damage, they don't recover from that damage. It's a permanent damage because the lung tissues become fibrous. What is called fibrosis of liver tissue takes place. Ah, sorry. Lungs tissue take place. Do you understand? So that much part of your lungs are damaged permanently. So why do you want to do that? So be wise and stay home and enjoy home. Okay. Yeah. Fine. I, I don't say you should not have, but with this understanding, all those agitation inside will subside. And you will accept the situation and you will find your happiness in whatever situation you are and at home. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I don't know anybody else want to share, Sia or Aryan, but uh, Dipanan, you said uh, lungs get affected. So, why is lungs important? Anybody knows? Medically. Dip. Okay. Ram, say. The, the, why lungs are important? Because they make you breathe. Like they give you oxygen. Some oxygen. Okay, so they they give you oxygen. They help you breathe a little. Yeah, but I thought you take air from the nose, Deepak Anandji. They yeah, purify it the air. It goes into your lungs. Wait, that's me. Go ahead, that's me. Good run. They purify the air. So like we breathe in carbon dioxide, they, they purify it and give us oxygen. Yes. Okay, so now, why is oxygen important? So, if the lungs are damaged, what happens to the oxygen making in the lungs? So, uh, let, let, let's analyze. If the surface area of your lungs is 100 square feet, let's say, 100 square feet, just understanding. 100 square feet is the surface area where this exchange is taking place. Carbon dioxide is taken away and oxygen is pumped inside into the blood. And that's how we survive. But now, let's say if 30% of your lungs are damaged, the COVID, they damage your lungs forever. So let us understand that if 30% of your lungs are damaged, then for the rest of your life, you'll have to live with 70% of your lungs only. There is no way of reversing the damage caused by COVID. So it's like of those 100 square foot of your surface area, 30% is lost. So you have 70 square feet of area. All your life, you will have to live with that 70% of your lungs only. So be wise and stay home as far as possible for our own safety, for our family safety. Okay? So what happens if there's 70%? What happens to your uh, changing of uh, carbon dioxide and oxygen? That's what. So now your capacity has reduced by 30%. So what happens with your body then? So your body is now starving for the 30%. It balances, but then if, so I will just give an example that if you are able to run five, five kilometers, then with this reduced capacity of your lungs, definitely your capacity will reduce to that extent. 
you won't be able to run for five kilometers. It will reduce down because your lungs are functioning 70% only. You all understand? Yes. So yes. this is where we, we have to understand the situation and be wise and stay home better. Never mind, I mean, yes, we don't feel bad about this situation, this feeling, but when we understand in the right perspective, then we will be able to accept the situation and make the right decision for ourselves. You will not sneak out and go away without telling your parents because you responsibly understood the situation and you don't want to create any trouble for yourself and your parents. Right? That's all. Yeah, see, this is understanding and analyzing properly, okay? So whatever we do, we need to understand and analyze and think about the consequences, that's all. That way, your awareness comes out. So this is the par excellence part of our, a person. Thank you. Okay, everybody? Thumbs up. Now, there's a, one uncle here, okay? Uh, not uncle, dada, sorry. If he live our community, he had lung cancer and he had to get rid of one cancer. So what Dipakaji said, what is the consequence? He walks, say, 200 feet, then he have to wait. Rest, rest. Revitalize his oxygen, go another 200 feet, stop and revitalize. So this is live example we see here every day, okay? Okay, so uh, uh, let us summarize uh, today uh, homework. Three words, positive words, where you use it and you have to post it on our group. And then one mistake, which you commit, you have to post on your, uh, and then try to analyze that mistake. You have to post on the our, our group. Okay, everybody got it? That's good. Everybody got it? Le uh, Canada, everybody got it? How about Rajasthan? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. And London, of course. Okay. Okay. So, Deepak, yeah, yeah. so sure, yeah. next time, we always wanted to second and third code of conduct, but please memorize one, two, three. Uh, so there'll be a quiz next time for the first three code of conduct. Okay. Okay. Deepakan, can you do a uh, three month or will everybody sure, yes. be able to yes, yes. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Varihantanam. Namo Varihantanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Vajrayanam. Namo Vajrayanam. Namo Loe Sava Sahunam. Namo Loe Sava Sahunam. Eso Panchanamukkaro. Eso Panchanamukkaro. Sava Bhava Panasano. Mangalanam chasave sim. Mangalanam Padamam havai mangalam. Padamam havai mangalam. Om namo bhagavate vasudevai. Om namo bhagavate vasudevai. Om Namah Shivai. Om Namah Shivai. Jai Satchidanan. 
जय सच्चिदानंद